Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. This is the New Hampshire Craft Beer Week edition, and this one is from Londonderry, New Hampshire, from the barrel. FTB EJ Oatmeal Stout oh, with an alcohol by volume of 5.4% ABV. This one was brewed, they do mark the side of their label. This one was brewed January of 2016, so it's a couple of months old. FTB. This brewery opened two, three years ago. And uh, if you get to the Londonderry Dairy area, this is one of several places you can visit. The 603 breweries in that town, Kelson breweries in that town, and of course Rockingham Brewing Company are all within this short, sort of like two mile radius of each other. So it's a great little pub crawl if you ever get to that part of the state. And during Craft Beer Week, that might be a good idea. So I have reviewed a couple of their beers, and I've had many of their beers. I've been to the brewery, which I kind of like. So I'm going to uncap it and pour it into this white birch glass which is also in the, another new hampshire brewery so let's give it a pour and check it all out serving it maybe around 50 degrees i might have liked it a bit warmer probably more like 45. holy smoke is that foamy i've been having a heck of a time with foamed up beers lately it seems i don't know what it is about me i must be pouring too aggressively or something but yeah or whatever I'm, that's how it goes doesn't really necessarily hurt the flavor or the aromas, but it definitely makes it difficult to really view what I'm looking at here. So let's check it out. Well, as you can see through all that foam, it is brown, almost near black. And this tremendous tan head, this foamy, puffy, soft, silky, just uh, bubbling away. It'll probably filter down a little bit after a few moments, but definitely a dark, dark brown color. So let's check out the aroma. Mm, very nice. Oatmeal, of course. Dark malts. A hint of coffee, a hint of chocolate. Roasty, I'd say roasted. Hops are earthy, They're, but there's a low IBU. I think the IBU on this is not very big. It's like, I don't think they actually listed it on their website, but I believe it's only in, it's probably a very low one. Mm, but it uh, has a nice aroma. And, you know, you get that kind of cooked oatmeal character going on. Plus, the chocolate is fairly forward here. So, time to taste it. Mm. Smooth. Body is got some medium, about a medium character. I wouldn't call it really full, but definitely has a medium character. Maybe a little over medium. I'm picking up that oatmeal, I'm picking up that chocolate, I'm picking up uh, a sweetness to it. Um, I'm getting a very low hop profile on the end, really no bitterness whatsoever, just enough to kind of balance it out. But oatmeal stouts are meant to be dark and roasty and bring out that oatmeal character. And this one's doing the job well, I think. Mm. Easy drinking beer. Uh, very sweet, though. I do like the sweetness on this one. Uh, and it's dark and roasty. And, and it's just really a nicely done beer. Oatmeal stouts. I'm a big stout fan. Oatmeal stouts are probably a little lower on my stout favorites list. I love stouts, though. I mean, stouts are probably among my top three or five styles. But oatmeal stouts are just a tad below. But they do a nice job with this. The oatmeal is not overpowering, but it's definitely there. that You can pick up the flavors. And the aroma when you're drinking it and smelling it. Mm. Easy drinking beer. Sits well on the palate. Um, kind of a relaxing beer. A beer to easily drink, you know, when you're relaxing or just sort of sitting down wanting to enjoy a beer for the sake of enjoying a beer rather than just drinking a beer for the sake of drinking a beer to get drunk or something like that. This is a nice, let's enjoy this beer kind of beer. Mm. So, that will do it for today. FTB, from the barrel. Yeah, from the barrel. This is FTB EJ Oatmeal Stout from New Hampshire. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you again next time.